Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create multi-language support in Laravel 12 application. So let's get started with an example. So I already created an example you can see over here with Laravel 12 starter kit. And if I go to the drop down and go to the settings, here is the given the language support. If I go, you can see that there is a two language added over here, English and Spanish. If I choose the Spanish and click save, you can see that all the, all the labels are going to change and with the Spanish language you can see that label if I choose English and click on save you can see that so let's get started so let me go here and first of all I will install Laravel 12 with the starter kit okay so let me go here and remove this and let me clear I will use Laravel new okay hit enter here I need to add application name so we'll say language dot auth hit enter and I will choose Livewire for the starter kit and then default authentication, choose the default paste for the fumble. So let's wait a moment to install Laravel 12 application. It is also asking for npm install, I will say yes. Okay, so it should be installed and npm run build. Okay, application is ready. Now let me go here and I will say lang auth and let me clear this. Okay, and let me go to my VS code editor and open the folder. Okay, so open folder go to that project so laravel 12 and there will be as a lang auth okay and open it okay you can see that there is a ready-made project installed over here okay so now let's understand about laravel 12 localization so let me go here and go to the documentation they laravel 12 already provide default localization so let me go here and you can see that they already given the node by default laravel not going to publish all the like uh, configuration files but you need to publish by using the lang publish command okay and how laravel's language is work using the app local in env okay so let me go and run this command okay so i will go and run the php artisan and lang colon publish command if i hit enter then you can see that language files are published and go to the application you can see that over here there is a lang folder inside that also created en folder that means english language and all the auth pagination passwords and the validation that already defined over here okay so that means by default laravel using this all for the english language paginations passwords and for the auth okay so now let me go here and go to the go to the down you can see that you can manage like this way the directory structure by default en already provided we are going to do for the spanish so i will use sp for that okay and there is a messages so what i will do i will copy this and i will create new file over here that's called messages okay and here i'm going to use php and return will be the array okay and that will be a dashboard okay and value will be dashboard 2 okay something so we can see if it's changed or not save it okay and now let me go and same thing i'm going to add another language that's called spanish so i'm going to create new folder inside the lang so go here and i will say sp okay inside that i'm going to create new file that's called messages.php and same thing i will copy this okay and paste it over here and for the dashboard i will keep the key is same but I am going to change the value okay so I will copy this dashboard I don't know what is call in the Spanish for the dashboard so I will say dashboard and Spanish okay I will choose that language that's called panel or I will just copy this paste it over here okay and now let me go here and refresh yeah our application is closed so let me go here sir okay and refresh yeah, let me go here and remove this yeah and let me register new user so i will say i will register with uh, new user let me set the password and created the account over here okay so right now it's doing nothing with the dashboard but for the right side panel i'm going to change all the labels okay so let me go and first let's understand how laravel localization is working okay so let me go here to the resources okay views components layout and app inside that there is a sidebar okay so let me go here 
and here you can see that underscore underscore so it let me go here and go to the documentation how can you use it so using laravel so let me go here yeah that's types of define that we already done okay and how you can use it using underscore so that already defined over here okay so what i will do i will use messages so that means this is the file name okay so that means this is the array name messages dot dashboard that will taken from here okay so save it now let me go here and refresh you can see that dashboard too so how they getting the by default english english language so let me go here and go to the env and by default app local is env already set up so let me go here and go to the config app and inside the app there is a already local key and here that's are going to use okay so now let me go here and go to the env here i will say sp that means spanish language save it and refresh you can see that it's become panel why it's automatically taken panel from the messages okay automatic get from here okay so same thing i am going to change for repository for the documentation so let me do it for that so let's understand in detail okay so let me go here and here i will say just messages dot repository okay and messages dot documentation okay so copy this and here i'm going to just paste it and add the comma over here okay same thing i will do for documentation okay so documentation this is for documentation same thing i will copy this key and i need to add for the spanish language so let me go here and add those key okay and copy this repository and go for the translation okay copy this paste it over here save it same thing for the documentation i will paste it over here and copy from here and just paste that label save it okay and go to the sidebar here you can see that messages dot documentation save it now let me go here and refresh it you can see that it's coming as a spanish language okay and now let me go here for the settings okay i also want to i also need to do for this profile password appearance and profile so let me do for all the things okay so let me do it okay so basically i did for all repository documentation settings logout profile password appearance and offer all okay you can see over here same thing for the spanish i just translated all properly and just added over here so let me go here and if we already done for the sp from directly on en file so let me go here you can see that configure if i click on it all the translated over here i did for the profile for now okay so you can see over here okay so in the next step what i'm going to do so let me go to the env and change it to the en save it and refresh it you can see that okay now like profile password and that's okay so next step i am going to add here new menu that's called language okay and where you can change the language dynamically okay so let me go here and go to the route and here i'm going to create new world route and that's called language language and language save it okay and the next what i'm going to do first i will go to the setting layout and here i'm going to say language and then message language save it okay and if i refresh it you can see that new menu added that's called language now let me go here and create new file so let me go and that's called language.blad.php okay and then i will copy the appearance menu by default so let go to the language and paste it over here okay so now let me go here and change the title i will say language save it okay and then if i click on language you can see that there is a language okay and here i am going to give the option like in the radio button that's called like two language english and spanish so i will go to the flux that laravel 12 by default using the library and here i will say radio and choose it click on it and i'm just using the first example so copy this and remove this one okay and just make it proper align and we have just two option and here is the variable language and select your language save it and let me remove this one here i'm going to say en by default value and there is a sp that means spanish language change the label i will say english 
then Spanish save it okay and then I'm going to define new variable over here public and dollar language I will just copy this and here I will say en okay save it okay and now let me go here and just refresh it you can see that simple select your language english spanish and here i'm going to add new button that's called save button so i will use flux button so flux column button okay and then flux button so i will just uh, say save okay and then i will use class mt3 so some spacing and i will use variant variant will be primary so that means there is a proper variant for that save it you can see that save button and there is English and Spanish now what I will do I will go and I will create wire click event okay and I will say submit method save it so then I am going to create new method over here and that's called submit method and when you click on it I will create a new session variable that's called session put okay and then I will use local variable and then I will put this language variable value save it so that means when I click on save I created new local session variable and put the selected language on that okay save and then I will say return redirect route and route will be settings dot language and I will say with success and then I will pass the message language changed save it and let me know let me here display the session variable and that's called success and if there is success I will simply display the message so I will say class text green and I will choose 600 and then I will display the value of session variable save it okay now let me go here and refresh it and if I choose Spanish click on save you can see that changed language okay so that means the message is displaying over here and we are creating like we are storing the data into the session variable okay now what I will do I will create new middleware and change the language okay so let me go here because by default if you choose already spanish and click on save it's nothing to do okay and also one thing i will also i already selected spanish but it's not selecting over here so what i will do i will use mount function and remove this here i will just say this language and session cat from the local if there is nothing then by default will be en save it okay and let me refresh, refresh it you can see that it selected the spanish language but our dashboard is still in the english so let me create new middleware so let me remove this php artisan mac middleware and i will call the middleware name is app link okay and hit enter you can see that it's created app lang over here okay and let me go here and go to the one middleware so let me go here app http inside that there is a middleware and here i'm going to say like if session has local then it's coming here and then i'm going to use app class call set here I will say set local function and then I will get value from the session variable okay and I will say local key okay if there is nothing then it should be en save it okay and that's fine so that means basically we set the dynamic every time when it's called the middleware it set the current language okay and now let me go here and define that inside the app here I will say dollar middleware and web and I will say append okay here I will define a blank okay and colon colon class okay so that means it's automatically assigned to the web okay save it okay now let me go here 
and let's see and if i refresh it yeah let me run the application again so php artisan sir and refresh it you can see that it's changed over here all the labels let me change the english go to the english everywhere english if i go to the spanish everywhere is the spanish language you can see over here go to the configuration you can see but if i go to the dashboard i don't know which language is selected so let me go here and here let me add new menu that's called language so go to the sidebar and copy this link and just paste it over here messages language okay and here i will just say session get local if there is nothing then it should be displayed en and refresh it you can see that language is spanish and let me go to the configuration and go to the language select english save it so that means you can see that language is english so you can see how, how easily we can do multi-language support in laravel 12 application if you like this video then please share with your friends subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys